chose the perfect day to come visit me at the cottage. We got our first blanket of snow and it is just so dreamy. I'm gonna go ahead and make us some coffee and I say we cozy up by the fire and have a juicy little chat. You and I have matching coffee mugs today. We've got some fun things on the docket to talk about. <laughs> First, we're gonna play a fun game of are the internet rumors true or false? Second, we are going to jump into your anonymous confessions. And I'm just gonna give some shame-free advice. The point of the anonymous advice segment is just so that we can all feel a little less alone because we're all going through something behind the scenes that we don't openly talk about. So we're gonna talk about it. Three, I'm gonna go through all my favorite things right now. Like the song I have on repeat, the YouTuber I'm obsessed with, what I'm reading, and the perfect holiday gift. Fourth, I'm gonna share the recipes that I made for Thanksgiving. Last, I have a handful of announcements that are very exciting, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, let's get into it, because this is gonna be fun. <laughs> The latest and greatest internet rumor about me is that I am AI generated. If I was AI generated, would I have given myself this giant pimple? Honestly, I don't think I can disprove that one. That one's just gonna have to live on, I suppose. <laughs> the second rumor that's floating around right now is that I am dating Mav. Usually, I do not even touch the rumors about who I'm dating, but I'm gonna touch this one. Mav is a young man on the internet who does a lot of really cool truck camping, catch and cooks, so it makes sense that we share some of the same audience. In my last video, I talked about how I was seeing someone new, and you all know that I live here in the Rocky Mountains. He posted a video that he was going camping in the Rocky Mountains. You guys were trying to connect the two, which honestly, good on you for connecting those dots, but the rumor is false. I don't even know the man. I've watched a handful of his videos, and let me tell you, the man is doing it right. I admire him a lot, but I have never even had a conversation with him. Okay, now I think it's time we get into the confessions. I am always flabbergasted at how many responses I get when I post that link where you guys can submit anonymously. Oftentimes there are common themes, you know, and some things are just taboo or awkward or embarrassing to talk about. Those things also deserve a space for us to talk about. We shouldn't be hiding in the shadows feeling like we're the only weirdos because we're not, okay? I am no expert but I am a very good friend. So this is not expert advice, but I just want you to know that I care about you. Let's just get into it. I am a nurse and I quit my job because the environment was toxic. I'm now struggling to find another job and my mental health is suffering. I feel like I'm letting myself and my family down. I guess when you feel so low, how do you help yourself out? You already made the decision to quit because you knew it wasn't right for you. That's probably the hardest part. So let me break it down into four steps that I would really take. Step one, start with your thoughts. You say, I feel like I'm letting myself and my family down. And while that thought may feel very true, you have to supplement it with different thoughts. I am making brave, bold, and healthy new decisions for my life. I am determined to live a better, happier, healthier life so that I can better support my family. You have to think of yourself on this journey in a positive way. This is a mental image that I do a lot. When I'm thinking about the thing that I want, right? For you in this case, it's gonna be a new job. Picture yourself putting that in your Amazon shopping cart and purchasing it. Like that, that's been purchased. You quit your toxic job because your other good one's already on the way. You have to think of it as you've already received it. And it might not be present in your life now, but it's gonna show up at the front door any minute now. It is out for delivery. When you start acting like that, things start falling into place. Don't get scared now. You did the hard part of letting go of the toxic job. There is that saying that goes, change your mind, change your life. It is true. It is really interesting how humans often default to self-deprecation when we could easily just as much default to self-support. So that's step number one, change your thoughts. Step number two, start dreaming new dreams. Your life is whatever work of art you want it to be. 
So think outside the box a little bit, dream up new dreams. Is there maybe another industry that you could go into that your skills that you learned at your last job can apply to? Journal, do some research online, get inspiration, dream bigger. Step three, expect new opportunities. This is something that a lot of people forget. There are an infinite amount of ways you could live your life. There are also infinite opportunity at your fingertips at all times. Like right now, I could decide to drink the rest of my coffee. I could decide to smash my phone. I could decide to call someone and tell them I love them. I could decide to do a million different things in this exact moment. You just have to start tapping into the infinite opportunity that's at your fingertips at any given moment. We often pigeonhole ourselves to thinking there's only a certain realm of possibility. There's not. That is completely fabricated. Let it excite you. Last and final step in this process, reach out to your network. Tell your friends and family that you're looking for new work. Share on your social media. Talk about it at the coffee shop. Announce to the world that you are ready. Sometimes it's much easier to let the opportunities come to you. You know what I'm saying? I just want to congratulate you on this journey. That's a very brave thing to do. Treat it like a very special adventure in your life you get to write your story. We're going on to confession number two now. I was in a cult, whoa, sort of, and I really felt like I belonged even though I never believed everything they did. I just liked the community feeling and now that I can't fool myself anymore enough to stay, I miss them terribly and I feel so alone and like I will never find purpose. Gosh, this probably was the most common theme in all of the responses was finding purpose and finding your people. You know, just that sense of belonging. I, I love this. I feel like there's a lot of people just deciding to cut out the things that aren't good for them. You say you feel so alone and like you will never find purpose. This kind of taps into what I was going through in my last video. I was really losing touch with my purpose. I was feeling pretty lonely. And what helped me was tapping back into the things that we stay alive for. So there are the things that keep us alive, the necessities, things that we need to keep society moving and to keep us alive. And then there are the things that we stay alive for, like love, romance, poetry, art. I think something that would be so beautiful for you is to just tap into the things that we stay alive for. Tap into the things that really inspire you. Let yourself indulge in the reasons we live this life in the first place. In society, we often put way too much value on the things that keep us alive and progress, right? Productivity. And while those things are beautiful and have their place, it is so important, especially in times when you're feeling disconnected and you feel like you don't have purpose, you gotta tap into the things that make life worth living. Take yourself to a movie, listen to music, go to an art show, go fall in love. It can be with a person, with a flower, I don't care, just go do it. Love on a pet, go volunteer at the Humane Society. Here's the other thing though, that this, this is the really exciting part, okay, listen up. There is a power move that you can make in this situation. Everything is energy, right, scientifically speaking. But we all exude certain energy. We've all had that experience where someone walks into the room and the energy they bring is just captivating, it's magnetic, and you're just like, wow, that person is so themselves, or wow, I really wanna be that person's friend. We have the power to shift the energy of any room we walk into. We have the power to change our physical expression. That is magic, okay? So maybe just start expressing the parts of you that, you're tr that are trying to connect with another person and show up in the spaces that those people might show up. Like if you love board games, go to a game store, wear your favorite graphic t-shirt, talk in a way where people who like the same things as you could be like, oh, I could get along with that person. Play with the energy that you exude. That is a major life hack. Huge. If you change the energy that you bring to the table, the world is going to treat you differently. 
You can even just try it out for fun. Like go to a place that you're never gonna go again, right? And just see what happens. Let life feel a little magical. Your true people are out there waiting for you and you don't have to buy into beliefs that don't really align with you just to have your friends. And I hope this video makes you feel just a little less alone in the process. You're gonna find your friends and you're gonna find your purpose. You just gotta light that spark in you again. Feel free to write back in and give us an update the next time I do one of these videos. We are gonna take a very quick break. We are going to dive into my current favorite things. This segment is brought to you by Anchor Soundcore. First, I need to go get it. What am I reading right now? Fourth Wing. I'm obsessed. It's all I can think about. This is a fantasy book about dragons. It feels so indulgent. The second book just came out, so I'm just gonna fly through this and then read the second book for my December read. If you guys wanna tag along with me, we can do a mini little book club. The song that I have on repeat right now, Spin Me Around by the Marias. Ooh, that is a sexy little song that just makes you wanna move your hips and fall in love. I made you guys a little playlist like a week or two ago. I'll put it down in the description again. The playlist is called Feeling Tender. It's a little steamy, a little sweet. It kind of just makes you wanna swoon. So if you're in the mood for that, go ahead and put that on your speaker. Speaking of speakers, we interrupt this program for a very important dance party. Can it handle the Queen of Christmas? Can you guys hear how crisp this music is? This is this year's IT gift, the all new Soundcore Motion 300 speaker. This is the first and only wireless high resolution Bluetooth outdoor speaker. The speaker delivers three times higher resolution sound than that of a traditional Bluetooth speaker. Motion 300 is your hobby partner. Whatever you're doing, it's portable and powerful enough to handle any environment. It's designed to be held with just one hand and has a detachable strap so that it can hang anywhere. Not to mention 13 hours of playback. The Motion 300 can automatically adapt to different positions like standing, hanging, or lying down to make sure that you get the best sound no matter how your speaker is positioned. I can also customize and set different sound effects for different directions using the custom EQ menu on the Soundcore app. Oh, and did I mention that this thing is waterproof? Honest to goodness, I cannot get enough of this little guy. <laughs> Music is one of those things that we just stay alive for that really brings people together. To be completely honest, I was a total non-believer about this high-res sound, but I get it now. It is now 20% off if you click the link down below. For only 79 bucks, you can give the gift of really crisp music. I do have one buyer beware. If you buy this, you are going to be extremely tempted just to keep it for yourself. And even if you're not totally sure that you wanna purchase this yet, if you click that link down below, it tells Anchor that you trust what I have to say so they feel comfortable continuing to support this channel so that I can make videos like this. Thank you so much, Anchor Soundcore, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. Okay, the YouTuber that I'm currently obsessed with, Carolyn Winkler, she got her start by posting interior design videos and now she does a whole bunch of lifestyle videos, but she is absolutely hilarious. I just cannot stop smiling when I'm watching her videos. She is also the person who inspired me to wallpaper my ceiling. Yes, I'm putting wallpaper in the primary bedroom ceiling once I get to that room. Tell me I'm crazy in the comments, but I think you're really gonna like it. I really think you are. Go ahead and check out Carolyn Winkler. I think it's time we answer one more anonymous confessional and then we can jump into the holiday recipes. I have been having problems with depression and anxiety due to some recent health problems. Can you suggest some calming exercises to do? Thanks, love your videos. Well, thank you for being here and watching my videos. I wouldn't be here without you. Okay, I've got a plethora of ideas, but here are a couple. First of all, I have been getting really into learning about the nervous system and how to regulate it. Most of us do not have a regulated nervous system. In this crazy world of go, 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 do, 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 
None of us can catch our breath and we're all just kind of trying to survive. So there are quite a few things that can help regulate your nervous system. Meditation, just try it. I love using the app Waking Up by Sam Harris. If you can't afford to pay for it, you can just send them an email and say that you're having financial difficulties and they will give it to you for free for a year. I do guided meditations myself, so that can just really help having someone kind of talking through, quieting down your mind. Tapping, I talked about this very briefly in one of my videos, EFT tapping is this healing modality where you use acupoints on the body and you tap them and what it does, it literally communicates with your nervous system and kind of helps it reset. It seems futile and woo woo, but 100% it is not. It is based in science. It has deeply transformed my life. There are plenty of videos on YouTube for EFT tapping. So you could do tapping for anxiety or tapping for manifestation. Here's a really fun one that a lot of people don't talk about. Redecorate your room or change the furniture around. Oftentimes the environment can be a big stressor for things. So if you shift the energy in your space, it can often bring a sense of peace and renewal. Also just be really mindful of the things that you're consuming. So the media that you're consuming, the TV shows that you're watching, the music that you're listening to, like, are you watching true crime videos? Because that's probably not gonna help your nervous system. It might feel initially relaxing because you're just zoning out, but I'm telling you it has an impact. Hmm, do I have any other fun calming techniques? These things take very little time, but they can make a huge difference in your life. So you could even just go sneak off to the bathroom at work and do a little meditation, you know? Struggling with depression and anxiety is something that I have dealt with a lot. You're not alone in this. Plenty of things that you can do to calm yourself and come back to yourself. I just want to remind you, really quick, listen up, really quick. You are totally unique and special. Think of all of your ancestors, all of the things that had to happen over the past thousands of years for you to even exist. You are literally a walking miracle. Sometimes I just walk around and look at people and I'm like, how, how do you exist? How, how is that? How are you possible? If I can think about that about somebody else, I can think about that about myself. Start treating yourself like you are a miracle because you are. And there are so many beautiful things that just want to connect with you, including me. Oh, here's a fun little thing we could do. If you're feeling lonely or anxious, like you need a friend, go ahead and just drop a little bit in the comments of this video um, and maybe you can find a friend. I have been really wanting to become a better cook. I spent hours finding the perfect holiday spread of recipes that are beginner friendly and that'll be a huge crowd pleaser. Now, of course, you need some of the standard sides like stuffing and crescent rolls and one of my personal favorites, the green bean casserole. Although I did level this one up with a little extra creaminess and homemade seasoned salt. Next on the menu is roasted Brussels sprouts with goat cheese, balsamic glaze, and cranberries. The main dish was this butternut squash spinach lasagna. Honestly, this is gonna be one of those dishes that I bring to any family holiday, but the star of this Thanksgiving was this goat cheese scalloped potatoes dish. This recipe actually calls for truffle. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on any, but it was still the best dish on the table. I really can't wait to make this dish again with the added truffle and play with the layers of flavor. For dessert, we had this four ingredient apple Samoa cookies, which were completely guilt-free and took only about 10 minutes to make. For a beverage, I filled an ice cube tray with cranberries and rosemary and we had champagne, but this can easily be substituted with seltzer or apple cider. So I have listed all of those recipes down below so you can follow them step by step or give it the tweaks that'll fit your dietary needs. And now, some special announcements. I am gonna start hiding Easter eggs 
in some of my future videos. Little hints or objects. I love when that happens in a book, like you get these little hints as to things that might happen. So I thought that I would start doing that in these videos because it's a fun way for you to get the insider scoop on some things that are going on, maybe behind the scenes or for things that are coming up. Be on the lookout for those. I also just made an email address, helloregretless at gmail.com where you guys can just send me little letters. I am gonna start pinning my favorite comment that you guys put in all of my videos within the first day of a video coming out. You guys have such amazing things to say, so I thought that could be a fun way for us to interact and get chatting more. I am getting a P.O. box. You guys have been requesting for me to get a P.O. box for years, and I'm finally doing that. Process isn't done yet, but when I do have the official mailbox, it'll be in this video description and all of the upcoming video descriptions. I have also created an Amazon wish list for you all that keep hounding me about things that you can get the cottage, or more specifically, Rio. <laughs> I do get very bashful about receiving gifts. There's absolutely no obligation, but it is there for the people who keep hounding me. <laughs> for the month of December, I'm going to be doing a cottage Christmas special. So all of my videos coming out in the month of December are gonna be a little extra whimsical just to celebrate winter and the holidays. And the Christmas cottage special starts next week. I think I'm gonna try to go cut down my very own Christmas tree. I just bought the permit from the National Forest. Hopefully we can do that to ring in the cottage Christmas special. I am gonna cozy up with this book in front of this fire. Be sure to click that link in my description below for the perfect gift, the Anchor Soundcore Motion 300 speaker. For clicking that link does help support this channel, so thank you for clicking that. And thank you for coming over today. It really means a lot that you spend this time with me. Take care of yourself this week, and I'm gonna see you next week for the very first Cottage Christmas special. Okay, I'll see you soon.